what is up? It's by SageD here, back for another video. Today I'm gonna be doing another unboxing video, and I'm gonna be unboxing the gray Yeezy Power Phases. And before the video starts, I might resell these because next weekend I'm gonna be trying to get the blue tints because I didn't get the Blue 2.0s. But my brother did happen to get his size, just so you know they're real. Still got the tag on it. I did get these power phases in my size, so let me go ahead and open them up very carefully. Now, I do not like how these have the blue Adidas Originals box. I was kind of wishing there would be like a more cool looking box. And there we go. Here's the box. I'm surprised because for some reason these, box all, these boxes always get destroyed. So here we go, you guys get the first look. Probably have to take off some paper though first. Alrighty, got the gold Adidas paper. And there is the shoe. Right there. Put that to the side. And then there is the other shoe. Like that. Put the box to the side. And here we go. So you can see the Adidas logo, the Calabas logo, and the paper inside. And then you can tell right here, very, it's got like a little ventilation thing on the side. They look very, very big. But then again, they are size 13. The cushion, all good around the sides, not laced up all the way. Let's go ahead and get the paper out of it. Alright, now let's put it on foot. Alrighty, so here's the shoe. I'm not gonna lace it up all the way. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. Toes right there. Alrighty. It is very comfortable. It is very snug around the base of my foot. So like I said, I am going to, if I don't get the blue tints, I will be reselling these on GOAT. I'll have a link to my account on GOAT. But yeah, these are some really comfortable looking shoes. Really comfortable looking shoes. I know, they do look like Reeboks. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> look at his lips. <laughs> it looks like there's a sticker on the bottom right there. That was there before I put it on. See, here we go. It's got the stitching right through here, all across the side. And then you've got the leather. Very, very flimsy, but not on. And then you got the laces, just generic laces. Then you got the insole right there. And then you got the Adidas logo right here, the green Adidas font and the red logo. And then you have, of course, the gold Calabasas little font on the side right there. And then you've got the sole. And the back is pretty sturdy. So you can see it's got the Adidas logo right there on the hill. And let's see what the, oh, well, it looks like the sole is inside. So I'm not going to take out the sole. And then here is the shoe size tag. All right, now we're going to get the other shoe. This is the left shoe. This is the one that still has the tag on the back right there. Okay. Um... Okay, that scared me for a second. I saw 12 and a half. I thought this one was a 12 and a half for a second, then I saw 13 for US. So, just make sure. Okay, 13. So you got the gold font. So, it's really weird, you can't really tell, but off camera, it's like, the leather's really wrinkly. Right here, it's kind of got, like it's like bulging out a little bit. Um, the other one doesn't do that, so that's really weird. 
But anyways, still got the same cushion. Got a little bit of the stitching off. But other than that, it looks clean. You can tell it's still dead stock. The sole's clean. There wasn't a sticker on this one. And I'm gonna keep the paper in on the side of this one. And so yeah, there we go. There's this the Easy Calabas. And they do look very similar to Reeboks. And I'll be honest with you, they're not the shoe for everybody. But now what I really wanted to do was compare it. Here we have the Adidas Calabas or Power Phase. There's many different terms. And then here we have the last release Yeezy V2. And I just want to look, see what the comparison is for the two of them. Now moving on to the sides. As you can tell, the 350 does not have the Adidas logo with, or any of the stripes like that. Um, see, this is a prime knit where this is more of a, like a leather material. And obviously this is Boost. So it's a lot more cushiony. Um, for the bottom part of the shoe, as you can tell, obviously it's boost and this one's not boost. So there you go, you have the boost. And then here, you just have the normal sole. And then flipping it over to the other side, you have the Sply 350 written backwards. You have the Calabas Gold on this one and then of course the Adidas logo. All right, now back up to the front. Even though this is a size 13, this is 11 and a half, when you put them next to each other, they look about the same size, and that is because of the surrounding of the shoe, how it has that from the boost. So it does look a lot bigger, but it is smaller actually. And now the inside, the only part of the shoe that it says Adidas on it is the sole. This sole is removable, um, but I'm not going to take it out right now. And also the sizing chart is inside of the shoe on the left side right there. As this one is on the tongue of the shoe. Okay, as for the cushioning, they're kind of similar. As you can tell the back, it, it kind of has a lip like the 350, but it... Um, well, actually, it is kind of similar, but the 350 is a lot taller and wider and more like of a box shape. Um, but if when we go into into the sole, um, this the 350 feels more like of a memory. Like when I push it down, you could tell it goes back up a little bit, as you could see right there, the cushion right there. For this one, it has kind of has the cushion, but it is all underneath so it's not literally poking out of the shoe so it's not as visible um comfort wise uh the 350 is definitely more comfortable but for this one retail was 120 on the shoe it's reselling for around 200 to 220 dollars however this shoe retail was 220 dollars and it's reselling from around 400 to about 550. Um, so yep, yeah, their shoes, same designer of Yeezy, course. Yeezy. And it's pretty interesting how they didn't have it laced up all the way. And so yep, yeah, this this is the comparison of the shoes. And if you want to buy a Calabas shoe, and you are expecting the same comfort as a 350. It is pretty similar, but it is not quite the same. But if you just want a shoe, like this is like a daily wear shoe, then this is definitely the shoe to get. This one is just like, I don't know how to say it, it's like wear about maybe five times a month. Um, but it is, I'm not saying the quality is bad, it's actually very well, it's very good. Um, this is more of like a stylish shoe for this one. It's more of like a classy shoe, you could probably, this is more like almost like a church shoe or what everyone's calling it now a dad shoe let me know what you guys think of the shoes by voting in the card right there um honestly in my opinion i have to go with the 350s these are still cool though don't get me wrong 
but I would definitely recommend getting a shoe tree because this right here eventually is just going to get worn out. As of this one, it goes back and it doesn't really, well, it does go back, but over time it might. But I do like the ventilation of what they did right there. Unlike the Prime Knit, well, Prime Knit is, there's microscopic holes, but this one is more ventilation on the sides and stuff. But overall, they are both great shoes. And yep, I will see you guys in the next video. And we are very, very, very close to 1,000 subscribers. So when we get there, we should be getting there very soon. And I am hoping to have like a merch, some maybe a t-shirt or a hat or something like that very soon. So yep, and wish me luck on getting the blue tints because I was procrastinating very hard I just finished editing this video today which is Saturday and I did get a pair and I got them from foot action so yeah for wish me luck because I definitely would rather have 350s over these alright see you guys in the next video peace out bye